Remember this? This is an M.2 enclosure. This is from a company called Orico, and I made the video for this, or the review for this, about a week ago. And in that video, I said I would try and get a tallest one, because this needs a screwdriver. And someone's already commented, it's no big deal. Well, no, it isn't, but I did say I'll try and get a tallest one, and today, we have the tallest one. So this needs a screwdriver. It's already got an M.2 in it. I'm going to take the M.2 out of here which by the way is a 40 M.2, it does work, but once it starts getting hot, it then starts to play out and gives up the ghost. So we're gonna take it out of here and put it in there. So uh, with that, let's do the unboxing first. It comes in four different colors according to that. So we've got like a gray, a white, a blue, and a pinky, yeah, it's pink. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, that's black. Black, white, blue, pink and some specifications. I'm not going to go through all the specifications because it's just a closure or enclosure. Let's get it open and see exactly what you get for your money. I will stick links into the video for this in case you want to watch that video and also links to both of the products in case you're interested in buying either one of them. I will stick them in the video description below. So we have the usual instructions. M.2 enclosure, very good. We had the actual enclosure itself don't forget this is the tallest one we'll get to that in a second we have right these are little rubber grommet things which goes in a little hole to hold the m.2 in position and we have a thermal pad which will go on there we have a heat sink so that's metal yeah or it should be yes yeah, metal <laughs> i just had to make sure uh, it should be a USB Type-C to a USB with an adapter on the end. Oh no, it hasn't got the adapter. So this is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C connection. Now the one that came with this, it had an adapter to go from USB Type-C to USB 3.2, I think it was. So you had the choice. And the two little rubber grommets, like I said earlier. So USB Type-C connection there. I'm guessing that's a little light comes up there. It looks quite nice. And this is a slider, I believe. It should just slide on and off, <laughs> if I can do it. There you go, it's a little bit stiff. Right, that's it, let's do it again then, shall we? Just to see if it's just the first time. I suppose that's a good thing, isn't it? If it's difficult to get off, you're not gonna lose it, are you? So push down and slide, there you go. It gets easier, and then that slides out like that. Yeah, easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you can use different types of M.2s or different sizes and different types. I will stick pictures up there now so you can see the different sizes and the different types. It does SSDs and NVMEs. Does that make sense? I only use NVMEs anyway. I don't really use, well, I don't use SSDs. I use SSDs, the big ones, but not the little tiny ones. So that is made out of plastic and basically you connect it in there and don't screw it down, what you do, you use one of these, one of these little babies here and what that does, hold the M.2 and then goes into there, I don't know if you can see that, like that, that's how it should go and that should hold it in place, hopefully. So uh, with that, let's undo this one and put it in that one.
Voila, that is it. I did have a bit of trouble because I didn't put the heat sink on properly. It was sticking up a little bit. That's why I couldn't close it up. But there you go, job done. Right, let's give her a proper test, shall we? I was impressed. I thought it was very fast at taking the data off and it was fast at putting it back on again. Not as fast as taking it off, but almost as fast as taking it off, if you know what I mean. So it definitely works, definitely gets my thumbs up. It's nice, it looks quite nice actually. It's not expensive and it does do what it's supposed to do and that is use an M.2 as an external drive. It's got a nice little light on it as well, so it tells you when it's actually plugged in properly. It also tells you when it's being used because it flashes on and off and says, oh look, I'm being used. Yeah, and it gets warm. It didn't get hot, it got warm, which I thought, oh, that's quite impressive actually. I was expecting it to get really warm, but it didn't. It just got like lukewarm. So with that, as always, I will stick affiliated links in the video's description. Go and check that out. And with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.